Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you guys are new here, welcome. And if you guys haven't already, definitely hit the subscribe button right there, right in the corner. And today I'm going to do another review and reaction of RuPaul's Drag Race, All-Star 6, Episode 5. Okay, so the queens are dwindling down now and we're trying, now we kind of, we're kind of seeing who is going to be at the top and who's going to be at the bottom of, of, of this season. Um, it's still up in the air to me. I cannot say for certain who would be the top three which means it's good it's a good it's a good season so with that being said you know each and every review i pick a comment from a last review and the comment that i chose was i'm happy for jan but miss trinity was everything my winner no doubt and scarlet just wow she is killing that runway every single week I totally agree with you, babe. I totally agree with you. You took the words out of my mouth from last um, episode. But let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below um, about this um, episode because your comment might be chosen in the next one. And I have a special treat for you guys. Literally, I am going to Cabo San Lucas. Um, actually, today, <laughs> Thursday, the 15th of July. Um, I I've been ripping and running. I'm so tired, so drained. But you know, I I, I got to put this content up for you guys, you know? So, um, but yeah, I'm going to Cabo San Lucas. I will be vlogging my experience there. I'm going with a lot of my friends to celebrate my, to celebrate one of my friend's birthdays. So you guys are going to see a lot of situations. Um, hopefully I can put it on YouTube because a lot of stuff is, um, it can get crazy. But um, but yeah, you guys, I'm excited to show you uh, my experience in Kabul as well as you experience how I am with my friends. And you guys, please give this video a thumbs up because it truly really does help my channel out so much. And also, you guys, I am going to be making a Patreon where you can see the full episode and my full review and reaction to it so there's no cuts there's no cuts there's no chops there's nothing screwed up every it's from the beginning to the end so i know comments were i know some comments from people from out of the country can't see the um the episodes well this is your chance to see the episodes if you subscribe to my patreon so yeah you guys i'm excited about that so make sure you check check out my patreon soon without further ado let's get straight into this reaction and review Here we go. Here we go. Unanimous, honey. What? She picked a carrier? I chose you, Akira. Oh! Oh my goodness, girl. Jen, you said you were gonna vote for what the group thought. Girl, are you crazy? You know what? Jen is not. Jen is just not in this competition. She's not paying attention. Yes, Jan, stick with it, girl. You're supposed to own your, your decision, girl. Don't try to cover it up and sugarcoat it now. Oh, that would annoy me, honey. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> See, that's the that's problem, I think, with Jan. She tries to please everybody else, and she just doesn't... I don't know. I don't Something about Jan, girl. Get it together, honey. Get it together. Why are the girls obsessed with being the trade? I am totally confused. That was like so 2003. Okay. Girl, I would be tired of it too if I was you and pulling out the shit you've been pulling, honey. Girl, Scarlett, you've been standing out the whole season. They're just not giving it to you, girl. Guess who has body issues? I Me. <laughs> oh, same, sis. Same. Uh, while I do try to have that, girl, nothing's changed, life. Jan. Nothing's changed. There is a more reality with the fantasy. Jan C. <laughs> Stop trying to make Jantasy happen, Jan. Girl, open up, baby, because I'm here for it, honey. I want to hear it all. I want to hear all of it. With my girls in the back. We want to hear it all, girl. But I know I'm about to do 
Girl, Kylie, please, honey, get these words together. <laughs> okay, Eureka. Kylie is not having it. <laughs> so you don't think I can do this? So what you're trying to say is that I'm not good enough to be on your team. All right, Miss Trinity, look good, baby. I used to live my life as a transgender woman, believe it or not. Really? Yeah, so that's that's too cheeky, honey. But now I'm a really girl. She got all the ass. She do. She she got hips and ass, baby. That's right, Miss Trinity. Work, Miss Trinity. Honestly, what's this term, chubby chaser? Bitch, I'm not running nowhere. Okay, I gotta chase nothing. I love their segues. Their segues are really good. I love that big ass to like, yeah, you big nasty fat. That's me. Want to work out? Is this how you work out? What is going on? The best time with you all. Thank you all so much. They did good. I liked how they were. They had good chemistry. I'm a Southern Belle who is hell on here. Kylie look good. <laughs> but I have to say how <laughs> okay. inspired because they had marriages and kids and careers and I love to hear that. Like me just being a flamboyant little boy was almost like an embarrassment to her. So that's Wow. That's really hard to hear. And someone said to me, Don't let that her child make your grown up decision. And I will tell mm. you this, it changed my whole perception of Work, Miss Kylie. Girl, y'all ain't got no t this old. That was good. I liked Kylie's and Raja's connection like that and what they were speaking about. Oh, shout outs to the fur babies and the fur fur baby mothers and fathers. But he's trained me to be a better person. And I just feel so grateful. Oh, I connect with her with that level. It's a so citrus. <laughs> I probably thought it was a butt plug too, girl. That was cute. I mean, I didn't mind it. Um, I, I, yeah, it was, it was good. I, I, I liked it. And just a touch of gas. <laughs> I was uh, 54 pounds, same oh height gosh. I am now. But girl, I really? Who was to go into my intestine, cut them apart, fuse them back together. No. Oh wow. Started, a part of my body I used to really love is my abs. They've been missing for a while, so if anyone finds <laughs> them, I don't think we because back in 1912, I oh. too was a twig. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love Pandora. I like that. It could be a lesbian device that warms up your fingers. I don't know what that is. Like what is that? Hair gives gentle pulses to help get rid of bags. Dark circles An eye stimulator. Pop. Girl, bye. And start relying on that body, body, body. Y'all take care. Come Cute closing line. Love it. Actually, I, I, I like them too. Honestly, all the groups really did good. I'm kind of impressed. This is going to be a really hard one because I can't tell you who was in the bottom. At this point, my mom is really the only family that I have. Oh my God, Raja. Yes. Everybody's so scared to see it. Yes. And it's not to hurt you. It's to heal us. I let it out. Work, Miss Akira. The healing process. Vote someone out just to get rid of them for competition. It wouldn't be like a shocker. So what you're saying is it's not personal. It's just drag. Bitch, it was never personal. Okay. Girl, welcome to the competition, girl. All I'm going to say is that who is going to win is going to be determined on this runway, for sure. The truth is, I just, I get so emotional whenever I come <laughs> That was cute. Trinity, you look absolutely stunning. Ova, 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 you look 
fabulous, darling. Eureka, this is Clash of the Patterns. This is, you're mixing so many different patterns together, but somehow this works. Fit, cut, makeup, hair, great. Akiria, this is what you call bringing a mother freaking look. Did you get into the tape, braid the oh, work, Miss Akiria? Raja, you look cute. I like this. I like this look, Raja. It's a cute look. <laughs> Kylie, the pop with the pink fedora hat, the way how fun, cute, flirty, patterns look great together, the cut of the dress. Kylie, you look amazing. Oh, wow. Great reference to the dress, the meaning of it, but it doesn't wow me. This is probably one of her looks that just didn't wow me this time. Mm. I don't like this look, Jan. I don't know. It just doesn't, doesn't, mm -mm, doesn't do anything. Ginger, love this. Love this whole look. Love the presentation. Love the fit. Love the makeup. Love the hair. Love everything about it. It's cute, fun. Ooh. <laughs> All right, Miss Pen. You know what, y'all? This Pandora has been giving me everything I need this season. This is so good. This is absolutely. This gives me the Disney movie. Um. Oh my God. Oh my God. The Disney movie, the Halloween one. She just a modern version of it. Sexy, sleek, modern version of it. I'll post a picture right here. <laughs> who, who I'm talking about. <laughs> Safe. You were the best team of the week. Ooh, yes! So happy about that. The top all star of the week is. What? Ginger Mitch. You know what? I can, I can see that. They all did really good, and Ginger's look looks freaking amazing. That look is what saved her. Thank goodness. I'm really liking Pandora Kylie. and Raja. Scarlet. Jan. I'm sorry, my dears. No. But you are the bottom queens of the week. Why three? Welcome what is going on? We had the most difficult category, but I definitely didn't get the worst critiques. Oh. Scarlett is playing her cards, baby, and I am here for it. <laughs> you have to choose Jan should go home. Oh, baby. Here we go. <laughs> Facts, though. Here, a hundred percent of the time. Like, I just don't. Jan's not going to get it. I just don't know what anybody wants from me at this point. If everyone in the group is telling you the same thing and you're not getting it, girl, something's wrong. Oh, and she's crying. No, this is the Jantasy? Oh! I'm really trying. Oh, I feel bad that she's hurting like that, but girl, come on. I need to be here. I didn't come here to just be pretty or be the trans girl. I am telling you guys, I need you to believe in me. Work, Miss Mother Freaking Kylie. Kylie, Miss Kylie, you go. That's how you play the game. She's she's pleading her case, <laughs> baby. So when I spoke to Scarlett, she said she had the best critiques and you had the harshest. Oh, bitch! This <laughs> yes, Miss Ginger, shake the table. <laughs> but the harshest critiques, like oh, for anybody, she and I was like, that's from mother. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Miss Ginger. She's the girl. Tea. That's not the true tea. <laughs> yes, Miss Scarlett. She said she made you uncomfortable. <laughs> the girls are catty, honey, and I am here for it. Welcome back, ladies. Ginger Minch, are you ready to meet your lip sync opponent? I was born ready. Oh! Yes, Bianca Del Rio. Bianca Del Rio, you guys, is literally one of my favorite queens. 
in the whole Drag Race franchise. Love, love, love her. Mama can tell a mean joke, but I ain't never thought of her no stage. Me neither. She's not a performer, so I don't know how she's there. Girl, this is gonna be a treat for all of us, honey, because I want to see what she can do. <laughs> See, this is why they get us, girl. This is, I was ready for that. <laughs> okay, girl. Here she goes, honey. Miss Mayhem Miller giving you eyes. Let's see what, let's see how this is gonna go down. Miss Ginger is serving me this with a song. <laughs> yes, Miss Ginger! She want to stomp across the stage. Oh, Miss Ginger is serving this because she's giving me so much comedy in this performance. <laughs> oh, Miss Ginger is serving this lip sync, baby. Miss Mayhem girl, what is you doing? No, Miss, no, Miss, Fa oh, not Miss Ginger said I can do this too. <laughs> yes, follow her, Miss Ginger. <laughs> you better ask her where her phone, where my phone is. I've made my decision. Ginger Minch, you're a winner, baby. Yeah! <laughs> she got 30K, baby. Woo, she deserved that. Ginger hands down deserved that. Wow, that's so sweet. Girl, we don't even know who she's gonna pick, child. Which queen have you chosen? So I have chosen. <sighs> Scarlet. What? Always be. Wow. An all-star. Yeah. That's cliche. Wow, that Wow. 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 I have no words. Girl, I really hope that this game within a game is one of the queens coming back and she needs to be one of them. Okay, you guys, so that is the end of my review and reaction of RuPaul's Drag Race All-Star 6 Episode 5. Let, where the heck do I begin? First and foremost, I think all the queens in their groups did really good for the pink table talk. Um, it was really hard to filter out who was going to be the worst team. Um, I liked all of them, to be truthfully honest. Um, I do understand where the judges were coming from, picking up. Uh, picking the team that they picked for being the best best group um so i agree with that and i was now leading up to the fact okay whatever is happening on the fashion on the runway is going to determine who is going to be in the bottom didn't expect miss kylie to be at the bottom i think that yes she didn't moderate her, she didn't moderate the best but i liked her team and i liked how they flowed and i liked how everything was um, I mean, I don't understand. And then for her to have a really cute outfit that she did, I don't understand why she was in the bottom. Now, as far as, um, the other two bottom queens, Miss Jan. Now, Jan is on 110 all the time. And that personality can be draining. It can be a lot. And it can seem like it's just overbearing. And I just don't like, I just personally don't, don't like someone that is... I feel like people 
have energies and when that energy is so to a level of maximum like it's just kind of like okay it drains me out and I'm just listening and I'm just watching can you just imagine actually being there so it, it's a lot and um and then not to mention like her fashion runway look I just didn't understand it. So I do think that she should have been in the bottom too. For sure, hands down. She should have been there. Now, the other queen that was in the bottom was Miss Scarlet. Now, Miss Scarlet, I don't... I don't understand how being vulnerable can be such a bad thing. Um, yes, I get what she was doing. She was being vulnerable, but then still playing a character and when you're in conversations on that magnitude I think that you should drop that character and really just put everything into your vulnerable side and um and I think that's probably what the cringe part was you know the antics because you would be vulnerable you would get the real honest truth and such really good things to talk about and then you would come out of that and still do like some mannerisms or little tokens of what your person drag personality is right when we don't we're not at this point we're not asking you for that so i understand what the judges were talking about but that runway that runway look i don't think it it, it wasn't my favorite of hers but it wasn't the worst on the stage you see what i'm saying so i i, I don't know so i it could be iffy to be at the bottom, to be truthfully honest. So I agreed for her to be the on the bottom too, right? So now we're gonna get into, let's get into the, um, the lip sync assassin. Love the fact that Bianca came out and that was fun. I swear, like if she, I thought she was gonna lip sync, but they tricked us. Um, I would have paid money to see that, but because I've never seen Bianca really do a lip sync performance. Like she said, she didn't have to do it, do it on her season. But um, but yeah, let me know if you guys thought was cute, if you guys thought that was cute as well. And then um, the real lip sync um, assassin came out, which was Mayhem Miller. It was cute to come and see her. I mean, she's she's a favorite queen to a lot of um, people that watch the show. So, um, you know, anybody that knows Mayhem knows that she got these eyes like, you know, so I, I love that. So um, I just, when it came down to the lip sync, uh, I don't know what Mayhem was doing. Actually, it, we weren't even paying attention to Mayhem. It was all about Ginger Minge. Ginger Minge won the whole episode, rightfully deserving so. Great moderator. Her fashion runway was really good. I loved it. It looked, it just looked perfection to me and it was cute, fun, flirty, sex, all of that. So her lip sync with Mayhem Miller, <laughs> it was the perfect combination of comedy, funny, sexy, sassy, everything all balled into one. And for her to step out of that comfort zone of being comedy, but also being sexy, perfection totally deserved that 30k honey and that was so sweet that she donated some of her money to the rest of her cast which is so you could which tells a lot about her as a person um now since she won the lip sync she had to pick the queen to go home and she ended up picking scarlet envy don't know how that was even possible don't know what she was thinking I don't know what competition she, you know what? It's a competition. So, and of course, you would probably get rid of your competition, right? I just didn't want Scarlett to leave. She just, she was doing so good. She had the best looks on the runway. She, um, she was safe the whole time. Um, or she was like in a, in a good group with people. Like, or is she a good standings? You had Jan in the bottom sometimes and you had Jan struggling to even plead her case like um it was just she just was confused of what the critiques were and not understanding and people are telling you the same thing over and over and over again I, I I just don't know maybe it was it wasn't the fact that J that Ginger got rid of Scarlet because it was her time to go and she was the worst I think she chose Scarlet because it was 
the competition that she needed to get rid of because there's no way in hell Scarlett de deserved to go home. But let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below of who was the best group to you, who did the best in the main challenge and the fashion runway, who should have won. And um, do you agree with the bottom three queens? And do you agree that um, the queen that went home, Miss Scarlet Envy, should have went home? Um, let me know all of that down in the comment section below and your comment might be chosen next. So you guys, I am going to Cabo. I'm excited about it. I'm going to be vlogging it. It's going to be broken down to three or four videos because every day I'm going to be creating a, a vlog for it because I don't want one long, huge vlog. I want to give you guys as much content as possible. So I'm excited about that. So stay tuned for that. Um, also, I am going to be making a Patreon page where um, I will link it next week for sure. I will link it next week where you can catch the full review the full episode and um it's not going to be no cut there's not going to be no edits it's going to be straight through and i know that some of you guys have requested that and um you guys have been telling me to get a patreon for a minute now so this is my way to give back to you you guys and to show you guys like the full episode all at one time and there's nothing cut out from all the extra stuff i have to cut out to cut down the video to like you know a minimum amount of you know watch time um let me know about what you guys think about the patreon page as well and you guys give this video a thumbs up if you guys have been loving my content because honestly giving a thumbs up really goes a long way it does help my channel out so 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 much make sure you hit that subscribe button if you guys haven't already hit the notification bell so you know exactly when i upload and like always life is your vision it is whatever you make it as long as you make it freaking fabulous until the next one you guys bye